This is actually a legit, real deal Greek theater. These are the original rocks right here that the Grecians, is that the correct word, Grecians? plop their butts down to watch performances. Right now it's set up for modern day performances, but why wouldn't it be? I mean, think about it. It'd be so cool to come here and actually see a play the way that the Greeks used to. This is where official business would be conducted. And back over there is the actual theater. Not sure why there's two places. Deanna thinks the theater is smaller and requires a ticket. And this is more of an open public place where people can get together and hear about politics. This is the best preserved Greek bath that had a dome. And this bath actually had three individual baths that people would use uh, solo. This is the first Greek communal bath. This is the furnace room where water in these pipes was heated and then presumably funneled into areas like this here that went underneath the communal bath to heat the water. And you can see the remains of some paintings that were on these walls to decorate them. And here, Gorilla Parsler, you can see mosaics on the floor. There's more ruins that direction. So it's just, it boggles the mind at what could be right underneath us that hasn't been discovered yet. It's pretty cool. I'm betting that underneath us is the most important square in all of Italy. <laughs> These cypress trees have been here for like 2,000 years. They would have been here when this was a free-flowing, populated settlement. That is pretty cool. This is an ancient road that I'm walking on. And as you can see, the Italians have not improved upon the size of their roads since the <laughs> Greeks started them 2,000 years ago. This here, I know it only looks like only one car could pass, but in reality, this is a four-lane highway in Italy.